All right, welcome back everyone. We've configured our routers fully, IP addresses. We verified that we can ping and that we can SSH and tell into our routers. Now we're gonna go ahead, as you can see, we're already in one of our routers in router one. And there's a couple of show commands that I want you to be very friendly with. You need to know these show commands. And your certifications is basically, you know, in the router anyway, uh, it's show, um, show run, show IP in brief, but we're gonna take a look at each one of these show commands and what is that you need to look at, okay? Look at. All right, so for the basic stuff, obviously, uh, in the certification, you do show run and you take a look at your run and as you're looking at your run, you're taking a look at each and everything that has been configured. Again, what you wanna see is that source, password, and encryption, host name, enable secrets, but remember, whatever they tell you to do is what you need to look to see if it's configured or not configured. And it's usually gonna be either a routing protocol and access list. You're not gonna be doing anything like this, but at least you know what you're looking at. The SSH, you scroll down, you scroll down, there's your interfaces, very important to make sure and verify that you have the right IP address and mask, all right? And the clock rate, when it comes to the DCE portion of the router's interface, okay, you just keep scrolling down, there's your banner, your consoles, your passwords and all that, you see it's encrypted, right? That's encrypted because of the source password hyphen encryption, same thing with the BTYs uh, zero through 15. And you see how it separates the default from the rest of the lines. Now, the other one that you, that you will be doing is show IP int brief. Show IP in brief. You will always do that. You'll always, or a lot of times, this command you will do because you want to see, hey, the IP addresses are there, and now I know everything was up, up. Remember before they said down, down, and that was be because the other side was not configured. Therefore, we had a layer one issue. Remember, down, down means layer one issue. Uh, up, down means layer two issue, encapsulation issue. Clock, clocking issue, okay? All right, so show IP in brief. There's a command that's similar to show IP in brief, which is called show protocols. I'm gonna tab over as with an S, show protocols, and I'll show you what it says. It's basically the same thing, just it looks different. It is showing you that your fast ethernet is up, right? Fast ethernet is up. Line protocol is up, just like the int brief showed you. It is showing you the IP address, but at the same time, it shows you the mask. So it gives you that one extra bit of information so you don't have to do a start. Because in the start, you see everything. On a production route, if you do a start, it'll tell you. You'll get a warning probably in the banner that says, don't do a show start, because you'll probably bog down the router looking at all those thousands and hundreds of thousands of information and lines are in there. Uh, you'll learn something called the pipe command that you can actually tell it to look at specific things. But here, we, instead of doing show IP in brief, another thing you can do is called show protocols, where you can see just the, pro, uh, you will see the same thing, but now you get to see the actual mask as well. The next command that uh, what we'll start doing later on will be show flash and i think i showed you this already the show flash where you can actually see the ios name right here that we would copy and paste when we're backing it up to a tftp server so show flash show version most definitely show version is another command that you want to do it's going to show you your ios the, the release of the uh the bootstrap 12.3 okay what this product contains so the feature set all right is going to tell you right there so sounds like a question to me show version all right and then just copyright information and then the amount of ram if you add these two numbers together it'll tell you the amount of ram what's being used versus what you have so add them both you get a total number of ram the ethernet the processor how much nvram you have okay and how much flash you have everything is in bytes and key 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 registry this is the default setting 
which is 0x2102, all that is is a hexadecimal number. A hexadecimal number that tells it, hey, take a look at the NVRAM. So when I boot up, you could load any configurations if there's any in there. Now, there's still a lot more configurations that we need to do, and there's a lot more show commands, but as we do more configurations, you'll learn more show commands. Like, let's say, if you want to look at that show interface, S0 slash 0 slash 0. That's one of the interfaces that exists here. It's looking at hardware information. Hardware information. You see here that the internet address for that particular interface is 10.1.1.5. The protocol is up. Reliability, the default encapsulation HDLC. So, or you can do show IP interface S0 slash 0. And when you do that, oops, I forgot one zero. When you do that, it'll show you, all right, IP information. Like, let's say one of the things you want to look at, hey, is there any access lists that are set? Okay, that's another thing that you would look at on here. All right, so there are many show commands. You can do show and a question mark, and it will tell you exactly what is it that you're looking at? Show access list, show ARP. There's a million show commands that you can actually do, all right, just by going through this, all right? And you can go, you know, show users to take a look if anybody's, you know, what users are telling it in. If you want to see your sessions, show sessions, any telnet sessions that are there, all right? So you can clear the telnet sessions. So there's a lot of show commands that you would have to practice. Are you going to know all of them? No, you're going to know the ones you do the most. Show start, show run, show IP in brief, show protocols, show version, show flash. So these are the ones that we mainly use to look at things, to look at things. I want to make a statement. I'm trying to think, oh, what is the difference between show start and show run? When you do a show start, you're looking at NVRAM. When you do a show run, you're looking at RAM. They could be different because if you didn't save, the run will tell you everything. The start, you didn't copy what's in RAM to start, so it's not going to tell you everything. So that's the reason I always do a show start, to make sure that I copy everything over to start in case there's a power outage. All right, we are done with this lesson. So get ready for the next section for a lot more configurations to come. I'll see you there.